Alright, so we're going to continue our notes from yesterday. And the very next thing we need to do is, where does the comma go? Or does it need a comma? Where does the comma go? Does it even need a comma? Only some complex sentences get a comma. Only some of them. A compound sentence Every compound sentence has to have either a comma conjunction or a semicolon. You'll notice up on the um, front of the classroom, patterns one and two, I put a label above them, compound sentences. Some of y'all are struggling with what does that word compound mean? Those are the two pattern types. There are three complex sentence pattern types. We are going to be talking about pattern four mainly. Okay? Pattern four. We'll talk about five and six another time. Okay, but pattern four goes like this. Opener, comma, sentence, period. I want you to draw that in your notes. Only some complex sentences get a comma. And the pattern that gets a comma every time is opener, comma, sentence. And this opener is extra info. And it starts with an obus. Extra info starts with an obus. So what does that mean, extra info? If something is extra, what does it mean? More than enough. It's more than enough? Not really it's not really needed. So if I cover it up, what am I left with? A sentence. A sentence. A sentence. Right here. If it's extra, it means I don't need, it means I could cover it up and I would still have a complete sentence. Subject, verb, complete thought. This is how you can tell. Okay? I have a little rhyme to help you remember. And it goes like this. And a woobus. To begin equals a comma within. So an awubus to begin equals a comma within. And a wubus in the middle. equals no need to fiddle. And what does that mean, to fiddle with it? No. It means no comma needed. You don't have to mess with it. So whoever said you don't have to mess with it, good job. It's me. And a woobus to begin equals a comma within. And a woobus in the middle, no need to fiddle. Extra info for a woobus. And it's 
sounds really simple. It is. It is all about locating the Awubis work. That's why we worked so hard yesterday to memorize them. It's why we played the Find the Awubis game. And you guys noticed in the Awubis game that the Awubis is always either the first word in the sentence or it's somewhere in the middle. Okay? And Awubis to begin equals a comma within. If you have an Awubis as your first word, you're always going to have a comma somewhere in that sentence. If you have an Awubis in the middle of your sentence, you're not going to have a comma with it. Okay? Everyone have this written down? Those of you who are still working, I want you to continue working. Everyone else, I want you to write a level one question about this chunk that we took today. A level one question about today's chunk. And then we're going to do some practicing. Give me a level one question about this. Shiv. Why is there a comma? In what? In the beginning of what? In a complex sentence? Yes. Give me another one. Courtney. Explain where the comma goes. In what? In a complex sentence. Um, Zephy. It's a great question. Do all complex sentences have commas? It's a good true or false question. Yes? Um, what place does the Awubis indicator have a comma? Oh, that's a good question. Where does the Awubis have to be in order to need a comma? What's the answer to that? To begin. To begin. Okay. So, make sure you have at least one level one question. All of these are good ones. Oh, um, but let's, let's do some examples. Because you are a Mustang, you must show pride. Because you're a Mustang, you must show pride. Where is my Wubus? What is my Wubus? Um, Emily? Because. because. I want you to circle it. And let's ask ourselves, in a Wubus to begin, Equals a comma within and a woobus in the middle. No need to fiddle. Is this to begin or in the middle? Yeah. To begin. So we're going to need a comma somewhere. Where do we put the comma? Do I put it after because? No. Where am I going to put it? Um, Valeria. After my mistake. How do I check to see if I have it in the right place? What's my way to check? Zephy? No. Nope. We don't have two complete sentences. That's a compound <laughs> sentence. How do I check? What's my graphic? Opener, comma, sentence. The opener is extra info. Eris? So the second part must be a 
Everything after the comma must be a complete sentence. So if I cover it up, you must show pride. What's my subject? You. 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 Mark it. And then what's my verb? Pride. Show. Must show. That's my verb. Does it express a complete thought? Yes. yes. Now, what does the extra information do? It clarifies why we're showing pride. Okay? It clarifies. Remember, clarify and complete are two different things. We can have a complete sentence and add more to clarify. Okay? So how many of your elementary school teachers told you never start a sentence with because? Oh. I had to break the truth to you. Should they lie to you? You can, but what's the problem? A lot of you do this because you are a Mustang. That's an incomplete thought. So the reason they didn't tell you is this is a seventh grade skill. Okay? So they just told you don't do it because they didn't want you to screw up. They really, they kind of lied to you to protect you. So here I am, I'm telling you, you're officially grown up enough to use because as the first word in a sentence. However, you have to make sure you actually add a complete sentence to it. Because anytime, because anytime you use because, that's making it dependent. Okay? Now, what if I said you must show pride, write this down, because you are a Mustang. Now where's my woobus? In the middle. And a woobus in the middle? No need to fiddle. Everyone, and a woobus in the middle? So, I don't need a comma here. So all of you who are so addicted to putting a comma in front of a because, stop it. Stop it, you're breaking my heart. You didn't know, but now you know. You are never going to have a comma right here. Is it a woobus in the middle? No need to fiddle. Okay, let's try one more. Actually, you know what? Let's try 